We are recording. Happy Wednesday, March 10th. I don't know. I think it's the 10th. Hope you're all having a fabulous week. Happy uh, International Women's Day yesterday. No, Monday. Ha, ah, great intro. All right, today I am finally out of my boot and I'm wearing shoes in the house, which is not my favorite, but you know what? I need the support. We're gonna do a lot of single leg exercises, which uh, we'll just see how I do. I have no idea. You're just gonna have to be patient. And then we have an arm burnout once again. Whew. Let's see how that goes. And then March focus session. Remember how last week we did abs for 20 seconds? We are doing abs for 25 seconds. The same exercises with no rest for three rounds. Okay, well, let's get started. I always play music, but once again, never know if you guys can hear it. So I'm just gonna play it anyway. And I've got my awesome app to walk us through it all. So we're gonna start on the mat. Start on the mat, start on the floor. Okay. Starting with cat cow, hands under, shoulders, knees under, hips. You're gonna touch the tailbone, round the spine, look at your belly button. I look like I'm ready to go for a run. <laughs> I'm so cold. It's actually bright out. Like, that's surprising. Today it's actually bright. Oh, and I'm getting, oh, messages. Good stuff. Let's listen to some music that only I can hear. <laughs> All right. Let's do seven seconds more of these. And then we have bird dog. Arms that are moms that legs slide to the end of the mat, lift up. Come back in. And because this is right here, I'm gonna use it. So you guys can see if I'm cheating. Middle of the workout, you gotta like your songs, right? I'm gonna save it for the next time. For when I wanna hear it from myself again. <laughs> wow, there's so many patterns. My pants. I'm in a weird mood today, just go with it. All right, T-spine twist. Hand behind the head, tap elbow to forearm, twist. Oh, block the block. Clearly I didn't do it right. Two and one, switch sides. Tap and twist. This is great for your upper back, especially if you have rounded shoulders. If you have any neck pain, maybe your mid back is stiff, maybe your chest is tight. Once again, really good movement. All right. Scapular push up. I don't need this. I kind of want it now, but I don't need it. All right, here we go. Drop the shoulders, round the shoulders. Drop the shoulders, round the shoulders. Can you tell with my sweatshirt on? Woo. Option here you're on your knees, or you're in quadruped. Whatever it is, you're still dropping and rounding the shoulders. Okay. I made the mistake last time of thinking we were done. We're not done. We're on our back now. All right, here we go in three, two, and one. Bridge. So, we kind of a fan of this new one. New, new for me, I don't ever do this one. But the fact that my toes are up, I mentioned this last time because my boot was on. Um, I like it. It's more hamstring, so we're just, you know, I like it. The further your feet up, the more hamstring, the closer, the more booty. Okay, feet down, more booty, toes up, more hamstring also. Wait, are we starting? Toe tap, oh geez, I gotta focus. Toe tap, extending from the hip, not the knee. Same cues every week. Cause that's all I can think of. Any other things to think about? Relax your neck. Okay. 
All right, windshield wiper, arms out of T. Push your right shoulder down as you bring your knees to the left. Push your left shoulder down as you bring your knees to the right. Maybe you feel some cracks. Maybe you feel your lower abs working. It does it all. Again, you're not going to the point where you're like, oh, I made it. Nope, keep your shoulder down. Hang in there, she says. My iPad's about to die. And dead bug. Opposite arm, opposite leg, extend. And extend. Keep in mind that I'm not going like this. Oh, that's just not even pretty. Don't do that. Even if you wanted to, don't do it. Oh, we got that one next. You're gonna sit upright and face me when you're done in about five seconds. Two and one, seated. Bend one knee, this is gonna go fast. Bend one knee, lift, lower, out to the side. I swear I thought I had like gum on the bottom of my shoe. I don't know if that's just the design. Oh yeah, so you can either hold your knee, but I realize that holding the floor is way easier. You should feel this in the hip flexor. We are sitting all day. Our hip flexors are weak. So this is strengthening them. Woo! And switch sides, straight into it. Up, down, out, in. Don't let your foot tap. The floor and don't let your knee, I mean your toes, turn out like this. We want them straight up. Ten more seconds of our warm up. Can you believe that's all a warm up? I believe it. It's good for you. All right. Um, and three, two, and one. Rest. All right. I'm gonna turn this off so I can talk. Okay. Strength. I have a whole minute and twenty seconds to explain this. So. Split lunge, single leg deadlift, standing kickback, fire hydrant, all on one leg, then all on the other leg. Now, what does that look like, you ask? I'm gonna raise this and see if that helps. Let's try that. All right, so I'm gonna hold on here for support. I'm gonna go split lunge. So one foot is on the floor, one foot steps back, you're gonna lunge here. Stationary lunge. That's 60 seconds. Then you have 45 seconds of a single leg deadlift to balance. Then you have 30 seconds of a standing kickback. And then your last 20 seconds, and I'll show you on this video, so we did standing kickback, the last one's gonna be fire hydrant for 20 seconds, okay? 60 seconds, 45, 30, and 20. Cool? And then you switch legs. I'm gonna start with my dominant leg, which is now my left one. So, let's see how we do. I'm telling you guys, I don't know what it is about today, but I'm in a weird mood. All right. You can't say it's weird if it's a positive mood, right? All right, here we go. We're starting in three, two, one. Split lunge on your, your non-dominant leg first. I'm going to use my dominant just because I want to. Start with a good one. Is it my good one? Who the heck knows? Okay, notice I'm leaning forward, okay? If you want to work your quads, you can stay upright, but I want to work my booty, and that's why I'm leaning forward. And I'm pressing with the heel of my foot, that way I'm not letting this happen, because that's all on the knee, we don't want that. A little additional challenge, do it on a rug. <laughs> 10 seconds. I'm gonna put the music next to you guys. Oh boy. And tip over. Okay, tip over to balance. If you don't need to hold on, don't hold on. Things to focus on when you do this tip over, a lot of people do this. Keep your hips forward without falling. Keep forward balance. Woo! 
Gets to be my dominant one. Jeez. We got this. It's burning. Okay, standing kick back. We're here. Okay, notice that I'm not arching my back while I do this. Get your belly button pulled in. Mini lift. You should feel this. If your left or if your standing glute doesn't burn, I'm to tell you. All right, fire hydrant in three, two, and one. Fire hydrant. Knee, 90 degree bend here. Open and close. Whew. Going straight to the other side. Actually, no, we have a little rest. Don't worry, we have a little rest. Okay. Woo, take it out. We get to do our other side in five seconds already. Wow, okay. I'm ready. Split lunge, right leg in front. Or whatever leg you're not doing. So back. Lunge. I've been tracking my sleep on an app. Love it. The last few nights said I had 60% quality sleep. 60. I was like, oh, that's not good. Last night, I had a hundred percent. I think it's because I didn't have coffee that day. I'm convinced. Other than that, I did everything else the same. There were days where I got like more steps than two and I got less percentage. But anyway, I woke up so groggy and I was like, what do you mean hundred percent quality? This doesn't feel good. And then an hour later, I was like, bam! Who needs coffee, am I right? I do, I like it. I like the taste. All right, tip over in three, two, and one. Tip over to balance. Woo, 45, let's do it. Where's my music? You guys keep going. Tip over to balance. Tip over to balance. Bend and snap. You guys, I never turn my watch on? Why did I feel like this is the best moment for me to do it? Not. Right. Three, two, and one. Standing kickback. We're going to do it. Turn it on. All right, all right. Make sure your standing leg is not like this. Go then. Only hold on if you need it. And I need it. Woo! Little lean forward, add one. Even your forehead, try not to like look up like this. Alright, fire riser, your last one. 20 seconds here. Woo! So, I'm sure you've seen me talk about this on my social media. This is all great for rehab, for your back, and your knees, and your whatever. But it doesn't really grow your booty. It really doesn't. This is all priming for the big movements that do grow your booty. Alright, we're moving on. Front raise, side raise, using your band or dumbbell. Who's that? Oh. Okay, standing on the band. We'll go front raise, side raise for 60 whole seconds. And then your next one will be bicep pose. Should I view you up so you can see my beautiful face? Woo! And he just said the N-word. Nope. We'll go bicep curl, hammer curl for number two. Your last one will be a bent over fly, kick back. Fly. Kick back. It's a little awkward here. If you have dumbbells, it'll be a little bit easier. Cool. All right, let's get started. 60 seconds of each. Starting in three, two, one. Will this ever work? 
There it is. Okay, here we go. Front raise, side raise. Shoulders down and relax. Oh, my work is blowing out from this group text. Is this the time? Okay. We're good. I'm just easily distracted, and that's it. Front raise. Side raise. If this has anything, this aggravates your neck or your shoulder. Drop the weight. No burn. Oh, my mom. I'll try it. I'm sweating. I need to off. But we've already committed to this. Woo! Start workout. Talk straight to the ass. What happens when you're by yourself? Bicep curl. Hammer curl. Hammer is bump facing each other. Bicep curl. Hammer curl. The best way to do bicep curls is against the wall. Or your head and shoulders and your hips are against the wall so you cannot cheat when you do this. It's really great. Really great. But you know what? That's a closet. I'm not gonna stand on that. Next time I'll find a wall for you guys. I'll do it just for you. And you know, good posture, right? Okay, your last one. Bend over fly. Uh, push back. So, bend over fly, kick back. Bend over fly, kick back. If, it need, if you need to reset, you can totally do that. Bend over fly, kick back. Is that what you're doing like a deadlift with it? Ooh, I didn't even think about that. Oh my goodness, that was really Keep going. Keep going. Alright. Let's go 10 seconds of this. There is no way that was one minute. So let's do one more of each. And we call that good. That was weird. I don't know what just happened. All right. Now we're on the floor. You got your abs. 25 seconds today. Bicycle. 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 Tower sit up. Reach for the toes. Reverse crunch. And leg lower or modification your wrist. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it, here we go. Bicycle. Keep going, keep going. I can hear her. You guys know me as well. Alright, in three seconds we have tower sit up. Three, two, and one tower sit up. This bothers your hips, you're gonna go down here. If that still bothers your hips, you're gonna go butterfly. Three seconds, we have reverse crunch. Three, two, and one. Reverse crunch, hands into the hips. Remember, we're going to go through this three times. Five seconds, we have leg lower. Three, two, and one. Leg lower. You're only going as low as you can keep your back on the mat.
bring our attention down, so we started a little late, so we're going to keep going. Hopefully you're feeling a good stretch in the hips, and a little stretch here is okay. All good. And one more on each side, and then we're done. And we are done. Woo Hope you enjoyed nice and quick workout. And that's it. Have a wonderful day, and see you next week. Yay!